NCIS actress Polly Perrette has been accused of stalking her ex-husband, sending him handwritten death threats and climbing through his bedroom window to attack one of his female friends. The claims are made in a lawsuit filed against the actress by her former husband, musician and actor Francis Coyote Shivers. The pair were married between 2002 and 2006, but parted ways acrimoniously after six years together. Shivers, 52, is now seeking personal injury damages from his ex, claiming she has done nothing but defame and harass him since they split. His lawsuit was first reported by the Blast.The news comes just two days after Perrette revealed why she had quit NCIS, alleging to have suffered multiple physical assaults while working on the CBS hit series. Shivers alleges that, after they broke up, Perrette begged him to get back together and threatened to label him a stalker if he did not agree. He claims that she sent dozens of malicious, harassing and legally defamatory emails to people he was working with after he was elected into the Hollywood United Neighborhood Council in 2016. Details of her allegedly climbing through his bedroom window are scarce. Since 2007, the year after their divorce was finalized, he has lived in apartments. The lawsuit claims that the damage was done to him in April 2017, but it is not clear if that refers to the emails or the window climbing incident. In the suit, Shivers alleges after he had cut off all contact and filed for divorce from Parrot, sick, crawled through his window in the middle of the night, attacked his female companion calling her a S and a W and made extortionate threats to stalk and defame him as a stalker if he filed for divorce and refused to get back together with him. The female victim of Perrette's attack has testified to this under oath. Perrette is rumored to be worth $22 million. She was paid an estimated $200,000 per episode of NCIS which was dubbed TV's most watched show in its 2015 prime. Unlike his ex-wife, Shivers, an actor and musician, has few recognizable TV and film credits to his name. Shivers' lawsuit is not the pair's first court tango. In 2013, he filed court papers alleging that their marriage broke up because she had slept with the pizza delivery man. The following year, they both accused one another of stalking as Perrette tried to extend a restraining order which prevented him from being near her. Perrette claimed that her ex-husband posed as a woman online to get to her and that he left her in fear of her life. She has said in the past that he is a compulsive liar who cannot be trusted. Shivers' first wife, Liv Tyler's mother B.B. Buell, has also stated publicly that he cannot be trusted. This week, after her final episode aired, she took to Twitter to reveal why she left. I refused to go low, that's why I've never told publicly what happened. But there are tabloid articles out there that are telling total lies about me. If you believe them, please leave me alone. Why oh, you clearly don't know me. Sorry, guys, had to be said, she said. She continued, maybe I'm wrong for not spilling the beans telling the story, the truth. I feel I have to protect my crew, jobs and so many people. But at what cost? I don't know. Just know, I'm trying to do the right thing, but maybe silence isn't the right thing about crime. I'm not just. There is a machine keeping me silent and feeding false stories about me. A very rich, very powerful publicity machine. Alyssa Milana was among those who responded to her worrying comments to offer her support. CBS responded by confirming that she had come to them with a workplace concern a year ago. In a statement, the network said, Polly Perrette had a terrific run on NCIS and we are all going to miss her. Over a year ago, Polly came to us with a workplace concern. We took the matter seriously and worked with her to find a resolution. She reacted by thanking the network for always having her back. In 2015, Perrette was attacked by a homeless man outside her home. She said he punched and threatened to kill her, but that she was glad he targeted her and not someone else. David Merck, the homeless man, was released from a psychiatric institution in February 